For this segment, let's everybody grab our bow suspension kit and let's connect to a secure high anchor point. Working some squats for this exercise. Now, two different variations. So you can see I'm doing it with my feet at shoulder width, but Sam's doing it with her knees squeezing together. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, I suggest you do it with your feet and knees squeezing together so that you're working your adductors and you're also squeezing your glutes on the way up as well. Make sure your arms are remaining soft, straight, and there's no rowing motion. Let's get you to try this exercise for yourselves. Right, we're going to combine crawlers and T-rows in this exercise. So starting in a standing position, we're going to take three or four steps forward, then hit a T-row, and then three to four steps back into your standing position. 
No bending of the wrists. Elbows remain high, as do the hips. Your turn. Hemisphere lunge for this exercise guys. Let's start with a front leg lunge and keep your base leg isometric while you swing your opposite leg through and finish with a pistol squat. Your turn.
front leg circles for this exercise, guys. Your arms remain in a rose position and your body is suspended back marginally. We're going to circle out with straight legs and pointy toes. Now make sure your support leg remains nice and soft, slightly bent for this one. Your turn. Working our calves raise for this one. You want to make sure you roll out into an abs rollout. Start with a neutral spine and keep your core active as you're suspended. We want full range of calves raise for this exercise. Your turn.
Courtesy lunges for this exercise, guys. Two different variations. So you can see Sabina has her back foot completely off the floor, which is a harder way of doing this exercise because it's harder to stabilize. Sam's allowing her foot to touch the floor and find the marker. Now, if you're new to suspension training, you're welcome to do it the way Sam's doing it. But if you're intermediate or advanced, then make sure you do it the way Sabina's doing it and keep your back foot off the ground. Now you can see both girls are holding a soft straight arm and there's no rowing motion in their arms. Make sure you guys do the same. Your turn. Side leg circles for this one. So we're gonna start marginally suspended with an upright body. So you wanna make sure you keep your obliques engaged for this one. Small leg circles with horizontal foot position. 
and straight active leg. Your turn. Lunge for this exercise with a static foot. We're going to do one side at a time. We're going to start in an abs rollout position with a neutral spine. Now you've got to make sure that your front knee is above your toes and it doesn't push past your toes. You've got to stay on the ball of the back foot for this one guys. So don't go back down to your heels, stay on the ball of the foot. Your turn to try it.
working an isometric chair for this exercise, guys. So this is a static exercise. We're just holding still. Um, variation one, you can see that I've got my arms soft straight in that invisible chair pose. This is the easier way of doing this exercise. You can see variation two, Sabina has her arms bent and tucked in a rose position. This is actually harder because it amplifies your weight. Um, knees should be bent perfectly at 90 degrees for this exercise. Your turn. Bulgarian lunge for this exercise, guys. Now, try this exercise with a vertical shin bone, so don't allow your knees to push past your toes. Your arms can be out for stability or on your hips. It's up to you. Steady, full range motion. Your turn.
working a basic hips raise for this exercise, or a bridge if you like. What I want you to do for this one is place the arch of your foot in the stirrup rather than your heels. Your arms are up so that there's no additional support of the upper body. Elevate until you reach a straight line from your shoulder all the way to your knee. Let's get you to try this one. Okay, working a face up stir the pot for this exercise, guys. So you can see my hips are lifted off the ground and it's staying off the ground throughout the whole exercise. Change directions every five repetitions. So five circles to the left, five circles to the right. Um, if you keep your arms up the way I'm doing it, then uh, there's less stability and you're gonna challenge yourself a little bit more. But if you wanna keep your arms in a T position and keep your hands planted on the floor, then that's okay as well. Let's get you to try this exercise.
Well done for finishing your workout guys. Please take a few minutes to stretch and cool your body down now.